Innovation is the only way we will get faster development in this country, which is more inclusive and more sustainable. The whole world needs innovations for more sustainable growth, as well as better inclusion. There are no models that deliver this perfectly yet, or very well even yet. And India has the biggest challenge of all in the world, to produce much more growth for its billion people, much more inclusion in that growth and much faster, as well as ensuring that the environment is saved and indeed improved as we progress. The innovations we need are in business models, in designs of enterprises, and also in government institutions. It's not so much high science that, that is required to provide access and affordability uh, to people for the things that they need, whether it's healthcare, education, clean water, sanitation, and basic infrastructure. Take examples. Arvind Eye Care delivers eye care at very low costs, at the same highest standards as available in the United States and to millions of people in this country. How does it do it? Not through new scientific discoveries, but through the creation of an enterprise model that includes many people, both in the production and delivery, as well as in the benefit of the, of the eye care. Similarly, Narayan Rudale in heart surgeries, at the highest standards and accessible to millions of people and at very low costs. The Dabbawalas of Bombay are providing a service which is not available to citizens perhaps anywhere else in the world. And they don't use any high technology at all. It's a model that's being taught now in business schools elsewhere. It's an enterprise model of many people working together to be able to provide to uh, people in offices in Bombay home-cooked food from their spouses spread many miles away uh, through the large metropolis of Bombay, connecting many to many very exactly, just as the inter internet does in the air, in the ether, these people are doing it on the ground. Now, these are the types of innovations that will enable our country to have more inclusive growth more rapidly for the benefit of its billion-plus people. The Planning Commission is joined at the hip with the, the National Innovation Council. The Planning Commission, as a lead government institution, is reinventing the way it is functioning. It is scurring the environment of India, the ecosystem of India, to ensure that the conditions for innovations are understood and the conditions are improved. For, as I mentioned before, we need innovations in almost every walk of life uh, in our country. And the Innovation Council is providing the thrust, the visibility, and the power that would be required very soon for India to get the benefit of innovation, without which, as I said at the outset, we will not be able to realize uh, the dreams of our people and our dreams as a nation.